ready? Here is the October report. I want to try to do these at least quarterly uh, for people so they know what's going on. We're having a ramp installed, as you can see, by the trucks. It won't be fully handicap accessible yet because next year we're going to do a warrant to enlarge that door going into the auditorium, which then will make the door handicap accessible. All you see now is the pods are supposed to be installed by the end of the day. The uh, generator is now installed, so that way there, if we lose power, we have the ability to continue to work and serve the townspeople because this generator will do the whole, whole building. Remember from the first video I did, this was a vacant lot, but it still is. But then as we get closer to the buildings down here, the building that is in green was just the shell. I was told that they already have the top floor just about sold out. Occupancy. This building with the blue face, which will be sided, is the building that will be done and occupied by the end of the year. Building number two was just a vacant lot when we last walked this area, they're going to be surprised on how much progress they've made. What's amazing about these buildings is all the walls come pre-built. It's like a giant Lego set. That's how they go up to as quickly as they do. We're out in back of the police department and the fire department, and we wanted to show you briefly the progress on the community garden that is happening. Here along with me is James, the uh, previous town manager, as well as the planning director who has been involved with this project from the inception. So we have the concrete pads poured for, there'll be a bridge that will be handicap accessible that will come from over there into here. The, you see that berm over there will have rocks on it and some loom. And what did you say, James, about every four or five feet, there'll be a rock and a planting? Yeah, they're bringing in some, some loam and then they'll be flattening it out and they'll have a rock and then some space for some plantings and other rocks. So really help to define the space. I think we have a nice gateway into this area. It'll be a little bit of a curve in because we're making the garden handicap accessible. So if somebody's in a wheelchair or anything, they can get into the garden if they want to plant some some vegetables. If you look up towards Logan Street, you'll see some stakes. And what that is, is going to be a, a walkway that will take you up to Logan Street. It will be on the opposite side of the garden. And from Logan Street, you can actually connect to the hiking path that goes to the library. The vision um, that James has, and I have to wholeheartedly agree with him, is to have the town somewhat interconnected amongst amongst trails within the town. That's one of the core visions of the downtown plan, is to have connectivity between our parks and businesses. It's really cool to see something that's been envisioned for over a decade come, come to life. The plan is to have the community garden here next spring doing their plantings. Well, thank you guys for coming out project basically done so now we're just here to see some punch list items are you coming back to reseed the grass we can definitely reseed the edge right so where's the park actually right? uh you know when the water path comes in you can kind of see where it's going to be where all the plantings are so james the fence would have to go all along through here correct i think we would do what we have to do to make it safe. I didn't see it beforehand, but I can only imagine what it was. It looks like great, and this is nice to have a finished project to show people. Yeah. This has been the October Town Manager's Report. I want to thank you all for joining me, and please remember, my door is always open to all the residents. Feel free to stop in or give me a call or email me at townmanager at berwickbain.org. All spelled out. I'd love to hear from residents, and I promise you I will get back to you. Yeah.